Hey there, welcome to my time lapse of Lover's Paradise, a hot springs teapot resort with stacked onsen and floating lanterns perfect for any couple. Sit back, get comfy, and try not to get too wet. So the base theme here is for this hot springs resort, I really wanted to have three onsen that were all stacked on one another, or I guess alternating. So one ground floor, one second floor, and then one third floor. And specifically with this ground floor onsen, I really wanted to have this sort of subterranean vibe, right? Eventually we're gonna put a roof on this. We're actually gonna use another onsen as the roof for this bad boy. And I figured, hey, if it's kind of underground and not as well lit as the other ones that are gonna be open air, why not use a lot of these flowers that are all glowy and super pretty when they're in the dark? Now, it's a little hard to see from this angle, but some of those flowers actually are floating up in the air, and if you want to know how to do that, how to suspend a furnishing in midair without the use of a landform underneath it, check out this video that I just released, Big Floating Guide, very handy, covers how to do it on PC, mobile, and PlayStation. So all my PlayStation andies out there, don't you worry, okay? Teapot Daddy got you. <laughs> Sorry, I really like that title though, I am keeping that title. Thank you, Ume-chan. <laughs> very cool. You also see that I'm placing down some rocks here, and their use isn't going to be super apparent right from the get-go, but believe me, uh, they're going to be very useful for kind of sectioning off this onsen, really making it feel enclosed, if that makes sense. And a couple of the rocks, the darker ones, are going to form the uh, the sort of like bases of these pillars that are going to come up and connect this onsen to the top one that serves as the roof. We're also going to float some lanterns in between the gaps, so that way, once we do put the roof on, we have some of these like really cool natural looking windows with lights for a little bit of contrast, and to just pretty it up because, I mean, I think it looks nice. Shoutouts, by the way, to these things that I'm using right now. Introduced in 2.4, these things, I swear to God, are the most perfect landform introduced so far. They're super simple, okay? They don't take up any load at all because they literally only have six sides to them. They count as landforms, so you can clip them into another without having to worry about shake clipping or any of that other finicky stuff. Even just using them as sidewalks and stuff, they're perfect for padding, which is what we're using it here for, both as the roof for this ground floor onsen and also as a walkway for the second floor. <sighs> I love these stepping stones. And of course, we also have to get a little bit of those glowy flowers poking out on the right hand side. Overall, I'm really happy with how the entrance turned out. And you know, it's the first one that you see. It's the first one that you walk through. I mean, honestly, I think it's just the coolest one with it being kind of like indoors and having these windows to look outside and stuff still. So if any of the three onsen were gonna get the best entrance, I'm glad that it was this one. Now, now this is still a resort. So I do think it's fitting that we need some kind of reception area, right? Somewhere to check in, somewhere to stash your stuff, right? A couple locker rooms for the ladies and the fellas. Maybe it feels feeds out into the side, into the you know main pathway, into that first ground floor onsen. Maybe there's stairs that lead up to the second floor. But either way, we're basically framing these trees and these shrubs in order to put a big building in, and then a secondary, a little bit smaller building, just to, I don't know, mix it up a little bit, give you something to look at over on this left-hand side. And hey, what kind of tourist trap would be complete without a little area for some snackies? Come on, we gotta make a buck somehow, right? I wonder what the specialty here would be. I hope that they would make Coney Dogs, which for anyone who doesn't know is like a Michigan specialty. It's kind of like a chili dog, but it's a very special beef kind of chili that you top on a hot dog along with raw onion and mustard. And here's what you do, okay? You get two of those, you pair that with a nice, tall, frothy glass of Verner's, which is like this Michigan specialty ginger ale. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'm so hungry now. Uh, Anyway, I don't think it's any secret that most of this build was intended to be looked at at night. You know, with all the lanterns and stuff, I think that just makes sense. But I did still want one area that really shone during the daytime, no pun intended. And this eating area is definitely that. I think, man, especially when you're sitting down with that special someone, soaking in the view with that setting sun and the carts and the foliage and everything, it just... Uh, I don't know. 
It's just very pretty. And finally, time to set up that second onsen. Now, originally, all three of the onsen were going to be floated in mid-air, and I was pretty on board for that for a while, but ended up ultimately deciding to use these landforms to perch them on instead, especially because the landforms that are closest to the first onsen are really, really useful for enclosing the entire thing in, really helping to make it feel more indoorsy, you know? Honestly speaking, this video has been in the making for about three weeks now, and not because I was grueling away in the lab for 20 days straight. I think I knocked this build out in two days? I just get so wrapped up in my own head. I get so convinced that I shouldn't be allowed to release anything if it doesn't meet this imaginary threshold that I've constructed in my head. And it's really held me back, even knowing consciously that I'm doing it. You know how long it took me to edit this video? It was about one day. I could have, from start to finish, released this in three days and had another time lapse out the same week. I think there's so much in my life, and I'd wager, hey, maybe even for yours too, that feels out of control because we psych ourselves out from taking on these big challenges and experiencing failure. So do me a favor. If this applies to you, grab a notepad and something to write with. If it doesn't apply to you, hey, fuck you, you prick. Give us some of that good brain juice. My goodness. Uh, but if it applies to you, do this alongside me. Okay? Write down something you want to accomplish in the next five years. It could be like, a, I don't know, a career goal, or uh, picking up a new hobby, dating that cute girl from across the country, whatever. Okay? Just write down your goal and then three bullet points below it. Write down a short-term goal you can start doing daily, incrementally towards that larger goal. Uh, write down a weekly or a monthly set of milestones that you want to hit. And then write down a milestone goal one year from now. To the date, okay? Write down today's date, too. Put it up somewhere where you have to see it every day and start working towards it. I don't want to be too much of like a parasocial Peter, okay? There's literally no way for me to physically know everyone who comes to the channel and watches this video. But as much as I'm able, and for what it's worth, I'm rooting for you, okay? You know, as the build's starting to wrap up, we don't really have a whole lot of time left together. But I hope you know that wherever you are in life, all right, whatever's going on, I'm proud of you. When this wonderful world starts to shine. So go out, be the you that you want to grow into. Ooh, that rhymed. Yo, hey, motivational speaking, here I come. Let's go. Before I end things off, I want to give a huge shout out to my girl Elle who super made this video possible. I mean, she gave a ton of feedback that fundamentally changed the way that this thing turned out. She gave me the idea in the first place, and she also helped me get footage of all the couples. So, Godspeed, God bless. Thanks a ton, Elle, and thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy I got to share this with you guys. I'm truly, really happy with how it all turned out, and until next time, I'll see you for whatever the next video may or may not be. Bye-bye! Oh, heck. Oh, gosh, we got an imposter on our hands. Uh, uh, Tommy, uh, ask a question only the real Boyga would know.